How's it you guys? My name is Tiffany Roth and welcome to this live. This is a, how, a live about who are you going to be in 2022? It's up to you who you're going to be next year. So we are talking about uh, health and wellness and the fifth years and fabulous retreat. So I bought on, brought on my team, okay, my power team to talk to you guys about health and well-being. Now, before we start this call, I'm going to share a very interesting quote that my sister shared with me this morning by Helen Keller. And when she shared this with me, I, my mouth hit the floor, right? And I want you guys to pay attention to this. She said, people get more flowers when they're dead than when they're alive because the pain of regret is stronger than gratitude. The pain of regret is stronger than gratitude, right? Right? So what does that mean? And I always talk about wellness versus sickness, right? Or health versus its opposite. Most people don't get pushed into action, into taking care of their bodies until something goes wrong, right? Something has to go wrong with their health or their medication or their clothes don't fit. They don't have any energy. They can't walk up the stairs. Like all of this needs to happen. That pain of regret, instead of being in gratitude and celebration for the body that you have right now, taking care of it now. Just imagine, right? If you never, ever cleaned your house, right? If you never, ever maintained your house or your car, are. What would happen? It would fall into disrepair. So we're talking today about wellness, about health, about being proactive. So let me introduce everybody. Everybody knows my sister. There's a CJ. delay. There's delay. So it's like, okay, it's fine. It's just going to delay. They're getting it. Oh, yeah. So it's always like that. Yeah. There's so, a so, little bit of delay. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's my sister, Cedra. She's acts like she's brand new to live. I've okay. never gone live in this, like this. And All there's right. a major delay. Okay. <laughs> so then I have a fellow coach, an amazing, amazing friend, entrepreneur, actress, dancer, everything extraordinary. Wait, hold up. I'm a Susan. fellow coach as well. Okay. So my, you're my sister. sister. <laughs> and then I have a fellow coach. Yes. Okay. Well, this is, this is what she is to me. I'm talking about what everybody is to me, right? So, <laughs> so she's to me, my sister to the world. She's a coach, but to Susie Hugh, to me, she's a fellow coach because we did leadership together. Not only that, she is an, an actress, a, a, an extraordinary entrepreneur, yogi, all things great. And she's also going to be teaching a burlesque class, a class at the Patriots and Fabulous <laughs> Retreat. Okay, so uh, welcome, Susie Q. Thank uh, you so much. It's wonderful to be here with you, and I'm excited to be a part of the retreat. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, so then we have Ann Chavlon. You guys know Ann. Ann is my diva go-to. Listen, if you guys want an example of how to live your life, live your life like Ann, right? You guys all know Ann from all the videos. She shows up. She is defying the odds of what it means to be healthy and well in life today. She's 83 years young. She works out every oh. single day. She dresses to the nines. She travels. Mm -hmm. She lives her life. She she is all of that, you guys. Yes. Hats off to Anne. And so if Ooh. this is what it looks like to mature in life with grace and health and wealth, you are the wealthiest, healthiest person I know. And thank you so much for being here and showing us what life looks like when you take care of yourself and you put yourself first. Thank right? you. Um, and this the best is yet to come. That's right. That's right, baby. Okay. Then we have Monzella Robinson. Oh my God. You guys, I don't know if you know that I love Zella. She is like my sister from another mister. She is extraordinary. This woman is always on top of it. She's in her leadership. She is on top of her game. She's a, a budding coach because she has got all of the goods as far as learning how to keep her word. She's committed. She's dedicated. She's there for you. She's every day. I celebrate you, Manzala, and I'm so happy that you're here as a representative. She is the essence and the true rep of the Tiffany Roth Fit Club and what it produces, life-changing, beautiful commitment. Look at you, shining yes, bright, is. being who you are. I love you. Thank you. I love you, Manzala. All right. Then we have my little sister. 
<laughs> my little sister and contract twin, Griselda, back who she was my coachee. Not only was she was a coachee, she became the trailblazer for the entire group, right? Because she is that powerful. She is the Latina boss, baby. Don't get it twisted. She is an amazing woman, an amazing leader, an amazing public speaker. I'm so honored to share a contract with you. We are a powerful, connected, inspiring leaders, Griselda. And into this world, we shall shine. We yes. shall shine. Okay. All right. And I'll, introduce, my, no, I'll introduce myself. Okay. Yes. I am my sister. Yeah. And I am, <laughs> I am more than her mom. I'm the moniker her sister supports me in life. This is my sister. <laughs> and I'm a coach. I'm Cedra Stokes. Okay. I'm a neuro linguistics practicing coach, a transformational coach, and a leader in the community. That's who I am. That she's more than that, you guys. She's more than that. And I am sorry because you know what? Sometimes the closest people to you, you don't get to herald them as much as she gets to be heralded. So let me just tell you about her. Somebody on her team, she is such a powerful coach. And I love this name for her. They call her Morpheus, right? Morpheus, because she will tell it to you like it is, right? And I just, I've watched her like a TV set all my life because she is transformational leadership. In effect, she is the real deal, like holy field of coaching right she will give it to you straight and so i she i bring her to everything because she brings power joy energy honesty authenticity to wherever she is so we are grateful to have her as a coach yes. and check this out ladies and and whoever's watching this listen my sister <laughs> loves me i know that and i get to stand powerfully for who i be That's right. on the planet right so stand for yourselves. And this opportunity is for us to stand for ourselves. Right. This is the opportunity we're creating right now for you to stand for yourself. Just like I stood for myself right now with someone that's the closest person to me in the world. And you just, a stand is a stand, people. Yes. So listen, you guys. So we were talking about the retreat, the Fit, Fierce, and Fabulous retreat. And I have invited these ladies to come on and speak because they understand what it means to put your health first and to not put your health first, right? And so they have either walked the walk of like putting themselves in the back burner and stepped into the light, or they have helped others to step into the light. So I just want you guys to kind of like give some words of advice of what it means to, to actually say, you know what, I'm worth it. So this next, this five days, January 13th to the 17th is about putting yourself first. It's about being the best you in 2022. And it's also about giving yourself permission to carve out some time to take care of your well-being, right? So, so many people wait until they take time off work when they get sick, when somebody else gets sick, and they never say, you know what? I'm a priority. Let me put my wellness first. Let me create who I want to be for 2022. They come in with some bullshit resolution that they know they're not going to keep every year doing the same habit. I am encouraging you guys to do it differently this time, to do it differently, be in celebration of your life, be in gratitude of your life and take five days and spend it with us. Spend five days nurturing your health mentally, physically, emotionally, so that you can step powerfully into 2022 being the best version of you. Listen, if it's meant to be, it's up to me, you guys. Nobody's going to do it for you, right? You can talk about it, but it's time to be about it. Okay, so anybody want to chime in? With yes, and, and to more to that, and in the commitment of, of life is happening right now, life is happening right now, and knowing that life is happening right now, we're focused on an event that's that's coming up in January. Susie However, I can't hear you. Can't hear Susie. Oh, good. I can hear. Oh, okay. However, life is happening now. So what that means is that I'm committed to whoever whoever joins us today on this retreat today. I'm committed to create an opportunity of togetherness and um, fellowship in preparation for the five day event. So whoever joins us today, there will be an opportunity to come together before we meet in the room in person for the online event and come together as women in community. That's yes. the opportunity that's that's open today for everybody that joins us today. Yes, yes. Hey. All right. Love you guys. Love okay. You guys. Chime on in, Susie. Come on. Okay, with I'm coming. I'm coming <laughs> at you. So uh, I love that. I love the what we're creating. And you know, you were speaking about how uh, people tend to wait until like put themselves off until the last minute, until the body breaks down or they get sick or whatever it is to actually take care of themselves. And that's something that is a, a theme that I teach in my programs and with my clients about 
filling your own cup up first. So what you want to do is you want to fill your own cup up first so then you can overflow. And yeah. that's then, then you can be better for other people. So I think what happens is that especially women tend to be nurturers and taking care of everybody else's needs before their own mm -hmm. and uh, giving people pleasing, whatever that is. And, and then we become depleted yeah. and there's nothing left. And how can that be good for yourself or anyone else? So the kindest, most powerful thing to do is to feed yourself first, is to fill yourself up first, is to do this retreat so that you know who you are and where you're going this year, so that then you can overflow with your abundance, with your energy, with your love, because you filled yourself up first. Mm -hmm. And then it can overflow from there. So that's, that's something that is, I is love the idea of overflow. So what I'm hearing you say yes. is like the generosity, you get to be generous from the abundance of it. You're not taking from the, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I can okay, totally you're not taking you. from, you're not taking from, from your main energetic supply. You're taking from the abundance yes. that you've created. I yes. love that. I love, I love that. that giving from the overflow, from the abundance. Yeah. So how, and what I'm hearing is that how we create abundance is what, how we, how do we create the overflow? How is that created? Well, it's by, by filling yourself up first and mm -hmm. whether that is through community, whether it is through meditation, yoga, whether it's through during doing workouts, it's whatever. And a combination of all of these things really, because we're not just our body, we're not just our mind and we're not just our soul. We're all of those three things together. They're not actually separate things. They actually exist all together. And if you ignore one part of that, that pillar is going to crumble and then the whole house crumbles down. So mm -hmm. it's really important to be taking care of the body, mind and soul and filling up each of those cups so that they all get to overflow. Mm -hmm. I love that. Speak of uh, depletion. And I, I want to speak up on this because depletion has shown up in my life as a sickness, as Tiffany mentioned, it's also shown up in my life as resentment as a uh, passive aggressive behavior. Yeah. Um, and then I, I am on the receiving end of other people's reactions to that. And that's how I'm like, Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I need to take care of me right now. It becomes my mirror. And, um, one of those places, yes, we get to, um, watch our nutrition. We get to move our bodies. We get to exercise. I'm going to come in and speak to you guys about putting yourself first in the bedroom. We're going to talk. Ooh, about yes, 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 yes. And experiencing pleasure from a place of leading that experience to where it serves you at your highest and best, yeah. where you reverberate from the inside out and that abundance just comes overflowing and just fills up even for you first, but it will overfill from you and spill over onto your partner in a way that they have never experienced before. So there's something to be said well, about that, that Griselda. Oh my goodness. There's something to be said about the, the, ener the energy. There's a lot to be said about that. Yes. yes. <laughs> the energy that the energy that that creates, the, the, the energy that pleasure creates, pleasure yeah. is a powerful energetic force. Yes, it is. Griselda, you said something really important at the beginning. You said when you don't take care of yourself, it shows up in the form of resentment. Right. Oh, yeah. And well, so there's a lot of people it. out there who are angry and they don't know why. If you're feeling angry, if you're feeling tense all the time, if you're feeling just like people just get on your nerves, it's because your cup is not full, you guys. It's not full. And then to tie in with Susie Q and Griselda said about putting yourself first, not being that people pleaser, it shows up in the bedroom, right? Some people just sacrifice all their pleasure and just be quiet, right? And there comes that resentment again. So how much of your life is filled with resentment? So, and, and, and I just, I thank you so much for your honesty. And I didn't say that Griselda will be speaking at us about acknowledging <laughs> your sexual pe pleasure, right? Because there's going to be so many gems in this retreat, you guys. I have a doctor coming on. We have Chef Crystal coming on, teaching us uh, 
cooking classes and nutrition and Woo-hoo! vegan eating. Susie Q is going to do burlesque. We're going to do some meditation. Griselda is going to talk to us about our sexuality. It's going to be And powerful. I'm going to make sure you guys don't fall asleep. How about yeah, that? Yeah, she's going to keep us. And you know what? We're going to get some 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 laser <laughs> coaching from Sidra on what is in your gap, what's holding you back, right? And so I want to talk to Anna Manzella, who are participants of the retreat. And they are what I call number one living examples of shining raw stars because they live the experience of health. They don't talk about it. They are about it. So you guys want to chime in? Well, I am so excited just from listening to Susie Q and Griselda. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And I am anxious to take a look at what's keeping me from being my best self. Yeah. Until now, until now. Until now, yes. 22, it's all about you, meaning yes. all about me. Yes. And, and I, I so enjoyed the last retreat that I was at and the bonding that comes from everyone working together. Yes. So I'm excited about this one. It'll be a new experience doing it virtually. It'll yes. be totally different. And that's a good thing yes. about when, when Tiffany chose to pivot to virtual because of what was going on in the world. I was like, oh, cool. Because this is an opportunity to bring in all kinds of coaches from all different modalities. Yes. It's going to be mind bowl. It's going to be epic. It's yes. going to be epic. And so I'm so happy to be on wait. board. Manzella, I'm here for you. Yeah, for myself, I'm so excited because um, the time is now. I learned that through the leadership course that I'm going through. The time is now, and we need to make ourselves a priority. So I get to make myself a priority. And to start um, 2022 off right, um, this is going to set me up for how my 2022 is going to look towards the middle, the end of it, and everything like that. So I'm so excited. The first retreat I went to in Mexico was amazing so i know that this online retreat is going to be such a great and wonderful experience that i can just carry on throughout my life and oh my god and just learn and continue to grow as a person as a woman and i'm so excited i'm glad i could be a part of this um experience with you guys with you ladies and i'm so much i am glad that i am connecting and um Connecting with everybody, so. And can't check this out. So, wait, and Tiffany, we know that you never disappoint. Yes, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. What do you guys take? Like, you guys have both, Anna and Manzella have both done the retreat with me. Griselda has actually coached with me before. Uh, Cedra and um, Susie have co-coached. What do you guys recommend for somebody who's on the fence? thinking about doing this? Like, how would you say, okay, like, I know you might be thinking, what is it, your objection? Time, money, you guys speak to your experience of either That's being what I was in a retreat, retreat to. Yeah, That's okay. exactly what, okay. okay, so this is like, I know that some people think it's about really about a retreat, but for me, what this really gets to be is about friendship. Mm. Cause I'm telling you, when I, before I became, before I started coaching, I went through an experience to, be, to transform my life. And when I, and that led to coaching, right? And I've been coaching for several years now. And before that, I experienced myself as having lots of friends and zero deep connection. Mm-hmm. This experience is about having deep connection. And so it's about moving from being a human doing to a human being. And it's also about bringing the beingness of humanity to your life. The beingness of humanity, like focusing on how you're being, how you're feeling, who you be. It's going to be fantastic. And you're going to walk away with best friends. If you've never had a girlfriend, mm-hmm. I guarantee you walk away with a girlfriend, a girlfriend or two. My, my vision for this group is that whoever is here, we are friends for life. Because yeah. there's going to be intimacy created here and intimacy mm-hmm. carries over for a great time. So intimacy, when I say intimacy, I mean, into me, you see deeply Mm -hmm. into me you see and I'm going to see into you and that creates friendship and connection yes thank you for that that's so powerful thank you Cedra so much and she's going to be there bringing her fire and her light and her coaching that's which makes it fun for me you guys Uh, everything that I do is so much better when I do it with my sister okay so Anne and what do you have to say about those who are on the fence thinking about the retreat okay I say just do it Yeah. Yeah. Just do it. I mean, I mean if, if you want to take your life to the next level, 
you got to do it. You know what I love about you? She she said she wants to level up in 2022. Everything that I teach you guys is about leveling up, right? It doesn't matter. You never arrive. You never arrive. You are always thriving, thriving, thriving. The minute that you say, I'm good, right? You're actually going backwards. When I first started teaching, this was 30 something years ago, right? They told us a quote, you guys have heard me say it before. And it's, there is no such thing as staying the same. Yeah. So you guys might be like, I'm good, or I've done that before. I know that, you know, all these excuses. You are either two things are happening. You guys, you're either striving to make yourself better or allowing yourself to get worse, right? There's no such thing as staying the same. You're either moving forward or you're just on the backtrack. Right? Another way because of saying that is either, is now. either you're moving towards your vision or you're moving towards your history. Mm -hmm. That's another way of saying that. So if something's happening, something's always happening. It's just, you, are you choosing what you desire, or are you defaulting in what you already have? Yes. That's all that's going yeah. on. Yes. And Tiffany, I, I'd like to just like what just what I'm what I'm hearing you say right now is I'm good means I'm dead. I'm not living. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm not living. I'm stagnant. I'm stale. I'm I'm more of nothing. And um, I'd like to just for anyone who is on the fence, think, are you have you been operating from a state of emergency? Have you been operating that until something really bad happens, then you do something about it? And are you ready to step into urgency? That yeah. is doing something operating now to today to create a better tomorrow. There yeah. is no life is now because yeah. we're not guaranteed the next moment. Okay. I got to reiterate that gem you just dropped, yeah. right? I got to, you know, you just said it like it was nothing and it was super powerful. She's still talking. I, you know, she said, are you operating from a state of emergency, right? How many of us are like in emergency? You're just running around, catching, like trying to make it, putting it together, hustling all the time. Or do you want to be urgent about what you want to create for your life? So powerful, Griselda. Thank you for that. Yeah, that is so powerful. Emergency or urgency? urgency. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh emergency or urgency? Susie Q, you look like you're about to say something. What's coming up? <laughs> I was actually um, quieting a dog that was starting to bark, <laughs> but, uh, but I do have something to share. So uh, my thing to the people who might be on the fence is like, what are you waiting for? Is this a pattern in your life where you don't invest in yourself, where you don't know that you're worth it, where it's you like we've been talking about before, putting everybody else's needs or wants ahead of yours. And, and then there's nothing left over for you. So, and I, I even, I mean, I, I have done this in my life, right? Like I'm just like me, this is something that I have done in my life and have learned from. And now I'm really good at investing in myself. I actually just did it again. I, I, I invested in, into some training for hypnotherapy and then also uh, like to have some therapy from someone else, which is, is like, I, I'm so happy to do that. And, and so I want to encourage anyone who's like, oh, this sounds so cool, but like what's underneath that, but, but I, like, I can't invest in myself or like, what, what, what is it that's holding you back? Because whatever's holding you back there is what's holding you back in all the areas of your life. Yeah. And it's so, interesting what you yeah. say, it's totally a habit. I used to have that habit of not of not investing in myself. That is so powerful. Yes. You can create a habit of not investing in yourself. And like Susie Q just said, or create a habit of investing in yourself. Mm -hmm. And one's going to yield one result and one's going to yield another result. All the results are neutral. However, are you going towards what you desire towards what you don't desire? That's the question. And what it looks like to invest in yourself is to just do it. So, so yeah. this is super powerful. We're actually using the word investments, right? Why do people invest? Because it pays because off. The return. Yeah. It pays <laughs> because of the return. And listen, how many people have never invested in themselves, right? Never invested right. time or money in themselves and in, in taking yourself to the next level. Well, that's why you don't have any return. And taking yourself on. Yeah, take yourself on and say, you know what? I am worth it. 
Mm. It's like believing that you are a worthwhile investment, you guys, that you are a worthwhile investment. Most people, you're going to work. Most people are working every day, taking care of everybody, coming up last all the time. That's not investing. That's not investing in yourself. That's depleting yourself. That's depleting yourself. You know what? I had a, a client that get, told me a story once that she made a beautiful dinner for her family, right? And as she was in the kitchen cooking and serving, she sat down, she served the family and she was doing something in the kitchen and everybody ate without her. And then there was no food left. Oh, wow. She sat down, right? <laughs> Listen, you guys. This, this almost made me want to cry, but just imagine how many times have you been in the kitchen, serving, taking care of, providing for everybody else, and then there's nothing left for you, right? There's nothing left for you. So this particular experience of five days, we have a day that's going to be dedicated towards nutrition, towards your health, towards eating healthy, nourishing your body, learning how to cook healthy meals. We have a day that's going to be like dedicated towards your sexual you, like your beautiful sexual selves. You get to like celebrate your beauty, do burlesque dancing, learn about sex, learn about well-being, health from the inside out. There's going to be a day that we're just going to be focused on spirituality, your chakra toning, clearing your energies, going into deep meditation. And there's going to be a day that we're going to be focused on vision. That means what are you going to create for yourself in 2022? You either um, fall for failure, failure or you plan for success. You guys you either fall for failure or you plan for success. So we get to plan for success. Otherwise, you just fall into anything. I'm just like you do every single year, right? 2021 was freaking amazing for me. It was amazing because I started off like being number one in 2021. And everything that happens for me is because I choose me first. I say, you know what? I'm worth it first. I get up, I do my workout first. And that's a different thing with Tiffany about workouts. The workout is in there, baby. You got to do the workout. We're going to be working out. We're going to be dancing. You're going to be taking care of yourself. Because what I said the other day is super important. The only time that you are in relationship with yourself is when you're actually working out. You're truly in relationship with your mind, with your spirit, with your body. If you're not, you're disconnected from a large part. If you're not working out, you're disconnected. Don't say anything else. It's bullshit to think that you can go every single day and not be with your body and think that you're fully connected. You get to be fully connected with your mind, your body, and your spirit. For example, when's the last time you spoke to your heart? Mm -hmm. When's the last time you spoke to your heart? When's the last time you visited your organs? Yes. When's the last time you thanked your breath? When's the last time you poured love into your body and, and colored it pink? Mm. Like when's the last time you danced with your toes in your mind? Like when's the last time you spent any time inside of you, intimately inside of you? Yes. That's what we're going to create for yes. you. You're going to know yourself in a way you've never known yourself until now. Yes. Yes. So that's beautiful. my vision. And you're going to be supported um, with community, which is so beautiful. That's what I love about, you know, Tiffany and I and Cedra all met through this, this uh, uh, transformational leadership community. And it's, it's been absolutely like the, the thread that is like woven through my life now. All so of my friends are you bees. All of my friends be you. <laughs> so it's, so that's what we're also providing here is is not only this opportunity for you to go deep inside of your own being and and connect and and then overflow but to do that in community to be supported to be seen to be held as you're doing that mm -hmm. and i just wanted to um, reflect on this tiffany is that it just became so present to me one of the reasons why i love you so much and align so much with what you're about is because is, I'm the same. Like all of my coaching involves yoga and meditation because if you're not moving, if you're not like experiencing this body yes. in this physical place, like all of the other stuff, I do I do career coaching. Like, yeah, we do yoga in career coaching. Yeah, right? that's exactly it. One of my programs, <laughs> one of my programs focuses directly on energy, building the energy up and then tackling something huge in life. Building yeah. the energy, tackling. My sister Tiffany is all about energy, building the energy in, in life. The, the, the person with the most energy is the most enrolling human in the, in the room. Yes. The person with the most energy. So ask yourself, where is your energy? From a scale of one to 10, 
Where's your energy? That's how you're in life. So if you're saying my energy is a two, you're you're at 20 function at 20% of a hundred, right? Percent. Mm-hmm. If you're saying your energy is five, you're focusing at 50% of a hundred. When I'm when I'm actively in my sister's workouts, my energy is a hundred percent. My energy, I'm 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 just extremely powerful. Movement is power. And you know, it's so funny talking about health. You know, I remember when Ann got COVID uh, many, many years ago, not many years ago, when it was like two years ago, right? <laughs> And, and I, like many years ago, now, and she called me and she was like, I have COVID. I was like, and so what? So what? So what? Right. You know what? Take care of me. Yeah, my sister had COVID too. She'll have COVID no more. I'm right up in here. Uh, so listen, so this is the thing. You, your energy allows you to handle your obstacles with grace. It allow, allows you to handle your obstacles with power. It allows you to handle your obstacles being fierce, right? That's what it's about. It doesn't mean that you don't get energy. It doesn't mean that you don't have obstacles in your way. That's just life being life, right? Like you're either just, you're existing in life and there's going to be all kinds of things coming your way, but how do you navigate powerfully towards your vision in life instead of being stuck in your limitations? And those so are the what, tools you will get in this retreat. Yeah, you will walk away with tools to 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 know how to move your energy. Yes, move from sadness to joy. Yes, like that. Just like that. <laughs> move from anger to happiness. Just like that. So, you guys, I want you guys to check the link below. And, um, you know, they're going to be sharing this on their pages. Ronzella and Susie Griselda had to pop off for another coaching. They're going to be sharing this on your pages. Sign up. If you sign up with, with your favorite coach, I can tell you that it means <laughs> a lot to them that you took their word for it, right? So a lot of times when people come on, they spend their time telling you, this is great for you. This is amazing for you. Support them, right? Support them because, yes, they're affiliates and they're affiliates with this program. And I invited them on here because they believe in me and the work that I'm doing. And I believe in them and who they are on the planet, this world. And then, so there's an affiliate relationship with here. So when they put the link And even page, before there was an affiliate it. relationship, yes. that we've been in a relationship for years in this capacity supporting Tiffany Rock workouts. Because yes. she's the only one that I see that is constant, consistent, and committed, committed. Yes. 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 to this. I say yes. just do it. Preservation, <laughs> just do it anyway. Right, just do it. Okay, right, you guys, I'm gonna put the link in the description box below. You guys sign up for this. If you have any questions, just DM me, DM me, and let me know. DM any of these girls on their pages, right? So they're gonna they're all on Facebook. Facebook. They're all on yeah. the Facebook. So you guys DM me. So we have Ann Shabla, Manzella Reson, uh, Robinson, Susie Q, Griselda Beck, Cedra Stokes, and Tiffany yeah. Roth. All right, love you guys. Sign all up. All right, ladies. Bye. 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 Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a little stuck. Hold on. Oh. How do you get out? Okay. That's Susie Q. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs>